<coughs> Whoa. Uh, tell you, my sister with the smoking is going to kill me. <coughs> I already, <coughs> already got a little bad cold from the kids. But you walk into have a bad cold, and then you walk into people smoking cigarettes. Yeah. But this is why I need my inhaler. But um, around about this time, you need your in inhalers and stuff. But I got my little nasal nasal spray. Got my little nasal spray. Um, so uh, having bronchio is no. It's, it's it's crazy. It's like you're struggling <laughs> having bronchio. So uh, when I was on my inhaler, um, they got steroids in it. I, I was on steroids. I was on two ty types of steroids when I was hospitalized. And uh, I, I never was on an inhaler, but I was on a, a, a steroid um, for um, like five years. Five years I was on that. Uh, um, a steroid, you know, it's for my lungs and stuff like that. <coughs> but <coughs> but um, my daughter, she's been on her inhaler since um, 2007. Um, Dearborn, uh, she had a, a Beach Daily doctor that she had. Uh, her, her father, um, um, her last appointment with that doctor, I think it was in July of 2010. And... Um, she had to do another doctor, um, Beach Deli, John Deli. On John Deli, Beach Deli Clinic was, if, I mean, you can look up the insurance. I gave her father my insurance cards so that, you know, the summer that she spent with him, uh, he would have her insurance card so that, you know, she make sure she go to her doctor's appointments and stuff like that. Uh, pulmonary doctor, you know, so. Like I said, Beach Daily Clinic. They shut all of that stuff down. So I guess uh, I guess they found out, you know, I don't know what they found out. Maybe they was trying to maybe they was trying to get, get at the insurance or something. You know, you know these some sometimes these these doctors they they kinda um some of these doctors anyway, I ain't talking about all of them, but they kinda mess with people's insurance, you know, kinda rob the insurances. And uh they they build the insurance company knowing that the insurance company is paid is everything is paid for because you know when they take out the deductibles uh, if you pay the deductibles you pay the deductible every month before they even give you your money right so um, me and my daughter's insurance is already covered we already covered under the insurance that i i had my insurance since 90 97 you know what i'm saying but when I got into an accident, when I get, ended up in the wheelchair, my lawyer uh, went to court and uh, uh, they gave me an insurance packet for me and my daughter and so that we could still be covered under my insurance. So my insurance was just like a bigger insurance because I, I needed physical therapy, occupational therapy, and physical therapy. So uh, the insurance pays for that. They paid for my hand braces, my foot braces, and stuff like that. So, um, so my main thing is, um, uh, I was off of, uh, Depends, um, um, brief, I had briefs and through my insurance, <clears throat> I've been off of briefs since 2006. Um, uh, my last catheter that I had to wear, I think it was, when did they take my catheter out? Um, I had a catheter, I think in 2007, um, took my catheter out <laughs> i forget who took the catheter out but uh i think dr silver i think she ordered for the catheter to be taken out um i had switched over from new jersey dr saloon to dr uh, suda that dr suda so um both of them um you know uh he she he called her and let her know why the catheter was in me you know because when i'm up you know and i can't get to the bathroom and stuff like that and plus I was traveling so they he put the he put the uh he ordered a catheter for me so the catheter uh did good uh it's a urinal bag anybody just in case anybody don't know what a catheter is it's a, a female catheter that's connected to a urine bag which I urinate in and it goes into a bag and it's tied on my leg okay that's a that's a catheter <laughs> so um the last one I had those was 2006 of um i think july 
Is it July? Uh, July or August. One of them. One of them. That's the last time I had that. But um, uh, the the diapers. Uh, this I think they discontinued the diapers. When did they discontinue those diapers? Uh, uh my my I think my doctor discontinued cause cause she knew that I can get on the I could transfer myself on the toilet. So they discontinued the. I mean that's what they said they did, and it wasn't on my summary. It wasn't on my monthly summary. So so um, unless they put it back on there, I don't know. Other than that, but you know, Doctor Suda, he, she discontinued the um, the supplies for the the briefs and the supplies for the catheter. So those two was discontinued, and um, something else was discontinued. Uh, what did I have? My foot braces still remains. I still need my foot braces because my ankles is just toe up. I lost all the ranges in my left side, so I still have complications. And uh, very bad low pain in my back and stuff. So um, that's that that is still on. <clears throat> I'm still supposed to be in my leg braces and stuff. Um, I'm supposed to still wear my hand braces when I'm sleeping, cause um, the, my wrist has copper tunnel, and sometimes my hands get when when you have copper tunnel in both of your your wrists. And sometimes your hands freeze up, and it, what it does is it kind of stiffens up the muscles, and your hands close up. So uh, I never had any surgery with, because I have tendinitis in my shoulders, I have um, neck injury and stuff like that. So all of this is dealing with can possibly have a spasm, and my hand can close up and stuff like that. So, so um, but I'm still supposed to wear my hand brace and my my foot brace. I'm still supposed to have my foot braces, but I don't have them because every time I go and see the doctor, um, and they okay it, but when I go to the brace person, uh, they say my insurance didn't run through, and I said, how can this be? Um, I mean, they probably have to check it because the last time I, I had my braces uh, fitted, it was in North Plainfield. You know, that's when I had my my braces fitted, but um, the doctor. When I brought them back to the brace place, they refused to alternate them to pad them. And it was putting holes in my skin through the screws that they had in there. So I just I stopped wearing them because I didn't want no holes in my heel and stuff like that. So I did report it to the foot doctor. I did report it to Dr. Chow. C-H-O, I think C-H-O-I. I did report it to him and let him know because I, I said I stopped wearing the braces because I took it back. I took the braces back to the brace people and I told them that they need to pad the heel and pad the foot part, you know, the, the, the toes. And uh, the stuff was rubbing up against my heel and causing my heel to be inflamed. So that's why I stopped wearing them. But I lost range in my whole left side. So, um, and to get back into therapy, that's going to be a lot of work. You know, I don't even feel like going through that no more, you know, because that's going to be a lot of pain. <laughs> you know, I'm just asking God to keep me. That's all I'm asking him, keep me. <laughs> you know, I try to do my my uh, daily uh, walk and um, try to get out at least uh, twice a week to three times a week to walk back and forth to the store or whatever, you know, just to keep my range and my legs and my hips and my pelvis, you know, from stiffening up on me and stuff like that. But uh, it's a lot of pain. I swell up a lot. Uh, and then when you're, when my back is tight, that means like fluid is around my area, my hip area, my pelvis area, and my back area. And um, that causes me to ha have real stiffness. And I can't like, you know, I can't turn my head all the way. So, so I don't have any I still haven't gained any ranges in my neck area and my lower area, my legs and stuff. Like um, when I put my feet up, you know, my leg up, it's not the average range that it's supposed to have. So so I did lose range in a lot of areas of my body, you know, while being in a wheelchair and stuff like that, the injury caused. So, so I'm just being careful now. Just being careful. Yes, I am. But... 
<coughs> but I'm just trying to show that I, I use, I'm using the bathroom by myself, so I don't need people to pivot me on the toilet anymore. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Okay? All right. And and to know that I don't have the, the tube feeding in my throat anymore. You know, they stick it up your nose and get down to your stomach. That's tube feeding. That's the tube feeding I had through my nose. Just in case anybody want to know what tube feeding is, it's through your nose and down your stomach. You know, uh, some people have it through, um, that's if you're a smoker, though. I'm not a smoker. So uh, that's, people get like tubes in their neck. I feel so bad for them. But uh, I don't need one of those. <laughs> so mine is okay. Um, my swallowing, my swallowing still is terrible. But I have a, a band. Um, that um opens up my esophagus and what it does is it stretches the esophagus where that the food won't get trapped up in my you know in my throat so so yeah that's the surgery that i have i still have it but um i'm supposed to be on my stomach meds for acid reflex but um again i couldn't get the prescription filled <laughs> so ain't that something they, these people keep telling me get, get Paid them $40. I said, why? I have zero, you know, I don't have no, you know, I keep calling the people and they keep telling me I don't have no balance, but they, I go to the pharmacy, they keep saying I got a balance. So I don't know if these people I'm paying for other people's prescription or not. Yeah, I'm paying, I'm using my insurance, but I'm paying cash for theirs. You know what I'm saying? So somebody is trying to make me pay cash for their medical bills or whatever the hell is going on. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully in print, somebody do something about it. Okay, see you later.